Hey everyone, this is my walkthrough on Sly 2, Band of Thieves, and we are in the 6th chapter, He Who Tames the Iron Horse. But not for long, because we're going to be starting the operation, which is called Operation Choo Choo. Really creative name right there, buddy. Uh, so yeah, we're pretty much going to be complete with the 6th chapter. Man, this game, man, this chapter seems really short, doesn't it? I think it probably is the shortest chapter. Uh, but then again, I did this chapter in like a weekend, so. It's not a very hard chapter at all. This is very easy. Strong work, Murray. Yeah, sure. The Murray's strength knows no limit. And he's the only one doing do no push cart. You're on, Sly. Break into that train and steal the clock. I've worked one of those things. It's really, really annoying. The clock game divides at the clockwork parts, and he walks away with the clock. You can get some pretty good speed on it. It still creeps me out. Get creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique hand car at breakneck speed. Good point. It's time for a train robbery. Yeah, those hand cars, they're kind of fun, but I mean, it just takes a lot of work. I mean, jeez. Alright, here we go, guys. Operation Choo Choo. And if you look at the back here, I never did this before until like the last, my last round of this. Oh, but you can see them. Oh, that least sneeze. It's because it's cold out. God. Don't those guys like wear any thermal coating? Like seriously. Get a nice flannel jacket on, don't you? That is flannel because it's Canada. No, I like flannel. I like flannel. It's, it's comfortable. Like all my jackets are flannel. <laughs> what am I talking about? This? There's another word for it that my mom calls it. I forgot what it was. A Pennington, that was it. I don't know. Um, okay, I'm not talking about flannel. So anyways, does really, does luggage, okay, first off, who's riding this train? And seriously, where did all this luggage come from? Is this like all zombie songs? Like, I at least passed by at least eight different sleeping bags. How many sleeping bags does he need? I guess maybe it's just, maybe it's his entire crew. That's all the luggage. It's all their luggage. Does it really need to be laser guarded? That's some intense that security. That clockwork stomach is as safe as a snowman in winter. I'd like to meet the varmint that's been looting my iron horse trains. By Jiminy, I get caught neat the color just thinking about how I cut that boy down. I kill my spawn guy. Yeah, John Bisson is the guy that you don't really want to mess with. But then again, there's not really anyone on the call game you probably should mess with. Dimitri, no, he's a drug addict. You should never mess with drug addicts. Rajon, he's kind of an arrogant asshole, so it's just like, why give him the time? The Contessa? <sighs> Gotta help you if you want to take her on. And, oh my god! Get down! Man, that almost hit him. No thanks, I've had enough bullet shot at me today. Pumping. Maybe even show you my new ride. No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on. Poodle? I to call up your little friends for help. Little? Come in, little friends. Neela's got me pinned down. Any chance of air support? I've already watched the RC chopper. Hooray! Alright, so I guess you have a little bit of a dog fight with Mila, which is funny because she's a cat. Uh, this is not honestly our thing. I would just keep mashing a button to shoot him. Um, I mean, the scare button. Ah, this is not honestly that hard. As you can look, we already are almost dead. <laughs> oh God, that's but I mean, like, honestly, this is not all that hard. I mean, look, we already have, like, half of our health, and how long have we been fighting? Like, 15 seconds? Oh god, this part's actually a little bit harder. Oh god, uh! Well, that part always gets me. Alright, come on. Oh man! Okay, I can't take any more hits. That should be it. Yes! Some 
fancy flying, little friend. Whatever you say, poodle. Asshole. I'm sorry, I mean blast hole. Why did I have to pause that belly for so long when he said poodle? Hey, Alright, we're going, we're going. Why don't they just jump onto the back of well I guess because we need somewhere to escape from, right? right? I'm trying my best. Don't worry, we have a 15 minute time limit, Murray. Should be enough time. Wow, that guy did not notice anything. Thank God for silent obliteration. Honestly, do you know what? From now on, whenever I play this game, I have to at least get silent obliteration. That is a must. Oh, man! Crap. Come on, health! Die! You weren't supposed to wake up. I need help. Man, that sucks. Seriously, how are these guys like perfectly okay in this weather? I mean, it look, it's freezing cold as hell. Okay, see if there were flashlight guards in there, I would be totally scared. But they're like ducks. I mean, like they're just minor ducks. Okay, this part's trippy right here. I mean, God, how scary is that? You better have some good grip there. You're dead. Uh, this one is a hard one to get. Oh, man. I always seem... I have died at this part right here. Just because this jump is extremely hard for me to get. Like, really? You have to get it, like, perfectly. Or you're screwed. It's probably gonna... I might actually die, actually, right here. Ah. Oh. So I could have totally made that. That's BS. Why are there rock climbing things on a train? That's what I want. It's just like a little bit of adrenaline to get your day started. Just hope you don't die. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Or should I say it's ridiculous? Oh my god, I said. That was horrible. You know how puns are horrible? It's just because they come into you at just like the worst op like on opportune moments and they're Oh finally! Yay! I'm not gonna die! Oh man. <laughs> okay, I kinda changed my mind. I know. Oh man! Oh god, if I hit him with that backswing, I would have been so effing dead. Okay, thank God. And then, and then this guy will just pick off. All right, I need some help. I think it'd be a good idea to pick out some of these. There are flashlights right there, so if I get caught, I better have some help. Okay, I might as well go for a kill. So, by the way, if you guys notice, look at my coin count. I have over three thousand coins. Really? Because pretty much I just spent like a lot of time, at least probably an hour, just pickpocketing the guards in this level before I went. Really good idea to do that if you want to get some good moves. I'll tell you this. It's true. Most of the good moves in this game cost a lot of coinage. And just remember, there are some valuables that you can get. Alright, I don't know how to do this. I guess we can just do that. Alright, I'm, I'm just guessing that's how we do it. Because this is how we do it. Never thought I'd see the day when his stomach got turned into a tool of evil. <sighs> Looks like John Bassan's wised up and bolted the stomach down. We'll have to crack the engine block to get it free. Then that's just what we'll do. A well placed bomb down the train's smokestack will knock it loose. Yeah. Alright, perfect. Oh, great, she's back. Luckily, you, you have full health. That is really nice that they give you free health. Okay. Now, uh, she's gonna start attacking you from the bottom, too. Just drop bombs. 
This is not honestly a hard. Oh, wait, I can't even choose this. I'm gonna do Those bombs are really easy to dodge. Oh my god. I was able to dodge that. Oh my god! What are those things? Like weird red thing leaves. Oh man. Oh crap! Shit. Alright, you know, she only has like a fourth level of health. Ever health. You know, like I said, this is a really, really quick challenge. Oh my god! Ah. Okay, I gotta finish her off right here, right now. Oh man, I might be getting a great time to fire. Yes! Both times, there's only one unit of health left. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> You got a stomach. Disgusting. I've got an upset stomach on my hands. <laughs> other than that, I feel great. Why would Cloudwork need a stomach? The gang and I had pulled off the impossible. We'd successfully robbed all of John Vassan's iron horse trains, and we were walking away with three. Count them, three clockwork parts. And as a bonus, we shut down spice distribution in all of North America. Needless to say, we were pretty pleased with ourselves. Can't say the same for Carmelita. Once again, the framed policewoman had to run from the cops. Which was fun at first, but I'm starting to feel a little sorry for her. I mean, what if they replaced Carmelita with someone else? I don't want another cop on my tail. She's a big part of why this is all fun. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to figure out a way to clear her name some way other than turning myself in. <laughs>